I am one of the godfathers and the builders uh, no, no, of the hip hop culture. Get out, get out. You know what I mean? Um, what this means to me, the big three. First of all, shout out to Ice Cube for taking these wonderful athletic individuals, right? The ones that still got it and still want it and put together this production, I think it's absolutely incredible. And I've been told this started in New York, which makes this thing super, super incredible. I enjoy watching it. I'm a close friend of Ice Cubes, and I must tell you that this thing here is absolutely wonderful, Cube. Don't stop doing this. I'm a basketball fiend. So when I'm watching NBA, I'm also watching the big three, too. I think this is dope, and I see some of my I see some basketball players on the court that I admired that I hadn't seen in a while. So cute for you to go back and get them professionals, some individuals. Much respect to you, Q. Much respect. New York truly. Godfather Hip Hop. Grandmaster. Flash. I think, I think uh, j even from just an entrepreneurial aspect, I think it's a great idea. I think uh, from the, just the aspect of being you know, in the NBA and watching basketball and having the, all the players from past and, and present just to be into the game and just doing it. It's just a great, it's a great day of fun for everybody to come out and watch all the games. It's almost like N1, but on steroids, because you got all that star power. Come out here, see Dr. J, Rick Mahorn, Charles Oakley. I mean, it is a great thing. I mean, it's a great idea. I wish I would have thought of it. You know what I mean? Because that's like ching ching all the way to the bank. Great thing. Ice Cube did your thing on that one, baby. Now, compared to the NBA, what you like about the Big Three more? Well, I, I, I like it because it's more of like a natural, natural spirit of the game. I mean, most people play three on three more than they would play five on five full court. So it's almost like the natural concept of the game. But it, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it, but it, it keeps it playground. Like I said, it's just a great concept. It's, it you know. keeps it playground. And what else? The performances. What about that? Oh yeah. Well, you know, you know, with Ice Cube, baby, everybody gonna come to support. So it, it got the star power. You know, it's like it, 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 it's all all around. It's great for basketball. I think it's, I think it's great for hip hop. Just just to show a young man that if you just think, if you just really think about it. It's all kind of things you could do, and the, and the big three is one of them. I mean, he did his homework on that. He thought about it and, and just made it come to fruition. It's going down real, real lovely. My name is the DJ Chuck Chow from BLS in New York, and LL Cool J Rock the Bells Radio. I remember when we was on the Kings of the Mic tour, and Q told me he wanted to start this. And I was like, yo, my man, go ahead and do it. Not a dream, is at full blast. The big three is all that, and it's better than the NBA. Cut the check. What up, it's your boy Peter Guns, man. Big three, I enjoy it way better than the NBA. Personally, personally more action, and I love seeing my legends, people I looked up to, people I still think got it. You know what I mean? On the floor, man, big three. Thank you, Q, this is true. Yo, what's up, my name's Kid Glide, Monster Energy Crew, what's up? Yo, what up, DJ Main Event from Houston, Texas, Monster DJ, DJ, Monster Energy. B-Boy Be Easy, what up? What's good, B-Boy Elite. Monster Energy Crew, Alessandra Hernandez, we represent Monster Crew, let's go. And I just want to say, Ice Cube, thank you for having us right here at New York. The Big Three is one of the amazing, the most amazing things that you could have done for hip hop and for sports, because the NBA ain't doing it like you are. Something big, I mean, something old, something new, something great for the community, for the old school, the new school, the kids, bringing it together with hip hop, 50 years. And that's why it's bigger than the NBA. Right there. Yo, yo, for real, it's about the community, the way he does it. This is how we play ball in the street. It's nothing like it's like that. It's raw. Like he, like he said, there's performances, live, people getting down. And there's no gatekeeping. Exactly. No gatekeeping over here. No, no gatekeeping. Earn your rep. Hip hop, big three, baby. Specifically, handball, stickball basketball, and really basketball, was at the center of the culture from the beginning. It got pushed to the side because it became its own industry. Shout out to Rucker Park. Shout out to West 4th Street Park. Shout out to Wingate Park in Brooklyn. Shout out to really all the parks that was developing this kind of culture within hip hop. You know, out of this same culture, this, this playground basketball culture, you get the sneaker culture as well. 
uh, and what you was wearing on your feet and how it went down. All of this comes out of that. So we started here in New York, in the parks, in the hood. Here comes Ice Cube now. <laughs> and he takes this now nationally. Actually, he took it seriously, mm. which then became nationally. And he's offering opportunities, as far as I can see, there's opportunities being offered to uh, uh, young players, uh, um, young athletes that might not have even had a chance to even see the NBA. You know, everybody don't have a talent scout and an agent. How do you get seen? How do you get heard? How do you raise your value based on the, the perfection of your athleticism? Well, you got people like Ice Cube throwing tournaments that you can sign up for, and if you got any kind of skill, you can show it right here on the court. I love that, I love that. So Ice Cube called us up, said, yo, we doing halftime performances and I'm calling on hip hop. I showed up, MOP showed up, a couple other dudes, everybody's here. Uh, showed. I just saw a whole bunch of people. I can't remember everybody's name, um, but it's a wonderful event, and that's that's the piece to it, really. You know. Also, we're all coming here um, on the strength as well. Here with us. <laughs> you know, we're all coming here, and or, or I just saw Peter Guns as well. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know, we're all coming here on the strength. We're at the Barclay Center right here. Uh, on this on this athleticism on this other area of hip-hop that doesn't really get covered so much so that's really it shout out to Ice Cube shout out to everybody here as well pitching in doing what we can we're keeping the kids off the street we're bringing them in we're giving them something else to think about and that's what this is all about so in addition to the in addition to the athleticism that's being offered to youth you got to understand the mentorship as well. So the mentorship is there as well. Shout out to Lisa Leslie. Um, and there's a whole host of other names that I can't remember right now. But we're dealing with black coaches. We're dealing with uh, uh, really the professionals of the NBA. The, 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 uh, uh, the icons, I would even say, um, of the NBA, whether it be players, coaches, or anything else for that matter, they're giving their time back to the hood, to people, to young people, to be able to guide them toward where they need to be, guide them toward the higher levels of themselves. And this is what does, you don't get to hear this part. This is not the part that's, uh, this is not the sexy part. This is not the, the cameras, lights, and action part. Um, this is that piece that you do your work and you go to sleep at night feeling good that you did something for people. Uh, you did something for young people. You did something for your culture as well. So that's what it is.